So now the Vanguard beta has been out for a few days, will it be better than Battlefield? Now I've done a video very similar to this the other week and we went into some details and comparing the two games and basically just determining which one we think may be better or which one will offer the most content when it launches this year. And now that we've obviously had the Vanguard beta, we've played it, we've had been able to experience what the game is like, how it feels and things like that. Do we feel like this game is going to catch on and it's going to be the big thing this year? Or do we feel like the little gameplay we've seen from Battlefield, because obviously we haven't played it just yet, do we feel like it's not going to offer as much as Vanguard. For me, Vanguard felt okay. Not too bad. There's a lot of things that I didn't like about it, but there's also things I did like about the game. In this video, we're just going to go into a couple of things around the Vanguard beta and around Battlefield. And just basically, again, now that we know more about Vanguard, compare the two and showcase some of the new specialist gameplay that we actually received from Battlefield as well. So uh, yeah, in the background, you're going to see a V2 rocket gameplay that I got as my second V2 rocket gameplay, which is pretty cool, uh, just to show the Vanguard beta as well. But uh, yeah, let's go. So starting off with Vanguard, then going into some of the things that obviously were very good about the game i thought the game felt very nice on the ps5 it looked very very good i thought the weapon selection was fairly decent for a beta as well all around the maps were not actually that bad they were quite good the only problem is that they were a bit too big for 6v6 sometimes and uh yeah the bigger game modes like domination 14v14 or 10v10 gdms are always kind of fun really jam-packed really enjoyed that and very good for going for streaks and it's going to be sick when going for camo challenges and different things like that too so yeah again i think we've only had three maps in this build of the beta and next week we're going to have have another two or three i think something like that whereas the actual game we've got 16 6v6 maps so we've got like another 10 or 11 we haven't seen yet so yeah very very stoked about that on to the bad things and there's quite a few of them audio terrible visibility terrible only one set of score streaks per life terrible the suppression system which slows you down when an enemy is shooting at you terrible the destruction around the map a complete gimmick the maps way too big matchmaking laggy and terrible and of course skill-based matchmaking terrible <laughs> the list could just go on and on and on but in in summary there's a lot that's wrong with vanguard at the moment it's essentially a more a glorified modern warfare 2019 it feels exactly the same as modern warfare 2019 it plays basically identical to it the gunplay is very very similar the movement is very very similar however time to kill is be much better in vanguard than modern warfare so that's been improved there's less safe spaces in vanguard which there were present in modern warfare which uh, doesn't promote camping as much and uh, yeah there's more vertical there's more verticality in the level design and things like that so it's essentially modern warfare Warfare 2019 would improved upon with map design and the flow of combat as well in those higher player modes. So yeah, it has improved, but it's also still a bit meh in some areas. Do I think Vanguard is going to be the best game this year? Do I think it's going to outdo everything that comes out and be the low its competition? No, I don't think it will. I feel like there's been a lot of mixed feedback about the Vanguard beta. And I feel like when the game does come out, it's going to pop for the first month or so. And then everyone's going to move to Warzone. I've, unfortunately, that's, how, that's what happened with Cold War. And I feel like that's going to be the exact same with Vanguard. I mean, with the amount of different maps that are in in Vanguard, I feel like there is a bit of more of a possibility that people could stay with Vanguard a bit longer. Um, but for, in my opinion, with the new Warzone map coming out, I think that's going to really take over again this year and it's going to leave Vanguard in its shadow a little bit. And that's where Battlefield and Halo really does come in this year. And I think with Battlefield, it has a massive opportunity to really grab COD by the balls and just run with it. I feel like it's Battlefield this year with the hype surrounding the game itself. It's going to be very difficult to beat Battlefield. However, again, with Battlefield, we've had no communication from dice or ea or anyone around the game there's only just been a soundtrack release 33 days away from the game actually releasing on early access on the 15th of october we get a release of battlefield 2042 for those that have pre-ordered the special editions bro we've not even had a beta yet apparently the beta is on the 22nd of september and then the 24th of september for people that want to just play the game without having to have a early access beta code but yeah bro we've got no information imagine having a beta on the 22nd of october imagine having a beta on the 22nd of september September, and your game releases on the 15th of October like there's not a lot of time there to implement any feedback or criticism about the game one we don't know anything about hazard zone either and we've only just had a very very brief battlefield portal trailer which yeah gives a little bit of gameplay of battlefield and tells you what you can do in it but we don't really have a lot of information to go off. I suppose my biggest concern with Battlefield at this point in time is that we've had no communication from EA or DICE. So what's the communication going to be like when the game does come out? At least with Call of Duty this year, they're having a bit of a joke about some of the leaks and things that have been done. And potentially the leaks and finding them within the actual in-game files was actually a part of the marketing. And I feel like that could have actually been the case. But with Battlefield, they're kind of just pissing everyone off. I mean, they've heard, we've heard nothing about Battlefield for like two months. They come out with a meme about the beta being in September and no actual feedback 
track about when it's going to be released or when to expect it. And for me, that's a big problem. I don't know if they're confident in the beta. The beta was initially meant to take place or launch on the 6th of September. That's obviously not the case. And they've really pushed it back to the 22nd. In my opinion, does the game need actually delaying? Is there going to be big problems with the game when it comes out? They had to completely remove the PlayStation 5 version from the playtest because it was just straight up broken and didn't work. So are we going to have a similar problem when the beta comes out? Or are we going to have problems with different platforms when the game finally releases? Like, do we need more time than the 15th of October? That's what I'm trying to get at. I don't want Battlefield to release a game that's not finished or just because they need to push it out because that's the date they've set. Bro, move it back if it's not ready. I'm 100% fine with that. We've got Call of Duty and then we've also got Halo this year. Push it back to early next year. That'll be fine with me. Again, in summary of the two games, for my opinion, I feel like Battlefield, again, is going to offer more content in terms of that particular game. And apparently there is a free-to-play aspect of Battlefield, which I do believe is going to be Hazard Zone. I feel like it's going to be an essentially a more, a less hardcore version of Escape from Tarkov where you, you're going to have more of a chance to play that type of game rather than Tarkov, which is a very, very hardcore based shooter. Like, there's no hood, there's no hit markers, there's no kill cams, nothing like that. One bullet to the head, you are most likely going to be dead without a helmet on. It's very realistic, very hardcore, and I feel like Battlefield's going to offer that sort of gameplay, but in a less hardcore and more casual way, which I feel like is going to really, really suit, and people are going to really, really enjoy that. And uh, yeah, I feel like if Battlefield has its own free to play, it's going to absolutely smash it this year. 110%, especially with all of the videos and things and the content you can make on it. Yeah, very, very excited for that. Battlefield Portal as well. It's going to be a really good addition to the game, to the actual the premium version of the game which you pay for. Really, really excited to give that a go and all the different opportunities and custom games that you can actually make and design and code for that as well. Sounds sick. And of course, All Out Warfare. It's just going to be absolute chaos from the moment you're going to be able to get in that. It's going to be great. Cannot wait to be able to play that. And uh, yeah, I feel like Battlefield's going to offer the most content and the storyline for Battlefield itself is very very good. It'll be interesting where they take the storyline in Battlefield 2042 but it will all be covered on this channel as well so we're very interested to cover that and do some more videos around the characters and things along those lines as well but uh, yeah I hope you have enjoyed today's video guys drop a like if you have subscribe if you are brand new get involved in the channel it would be absolutely amazing if you did and let me know what you think if you've played the Vanguard beta what do you think of the Vanguard beta do you think it's going to be a good game this year are you impressed with it are you not impressed with it did you not like what you've seen and uh, yeah be interested Interested to know let me know also around battlefield as well what do you think of battlefield are you stoked for battlefield do you kind of feel like you're a bit pissed off with them not communicating are you worried about the beta are you worried about the launch of the game let me know in the comments down below but guys have a good day i'll speak to you all in the next one